Overcoming, Part 1. Let me help you. Here, hold this. Uh-huh. Yeah. Whew. Hey, Charlie. Charlie. Hello. <laughs> oh, he's such a carefree dog. <sighs> Stop. Wait, let's take a break. Uh-huh. Oh. We're not women. I feel like we're mules, in fact. Oh. Oh. Well, at oh. least now we won't have to go shopping for a few days. Oh. Besides, my Victor likes it when the fridge is full and we have chicken in the pot. Oh, my Sergei won't even say thank you. He's so grumpy. He'll ask why I bought this or that because it's so expensive, like it's all for myself. I wish he saved up for a car already. <sighs> well, hello there, girls. Hello, hello Riza. My, I see you bought a lot here, <laughs> girls. Oh, my goodness, at the district center? Uh -huh. So you're ignoring my store. That's what you're doing? Well, Sveta needed to buy some wallpaper, and I needed a wholesale store. Why can't Victor give you a ride so you're not out in the cold? He's driving his car like a king all across the village. You're his wife. You're not his servant. Oh, I think you chose the wrong king, really. The wrong man won you. Oh, do you mean your Roman should have won her instead, then? <laughs> oh. Oh. Now let's go. Oh. Oh. Okay, be careful. Oh, look, Victor's here. Shall we pop in? Sergei may be there as well. Oh, no, I better not go. As soon as Sergei sees how expensive the wallpaper is, he'll get mad. Well, goodbye. <laughs> so that's how you calculate it. Yeah, that's how I calculated it. Come on, don't you like it? Look, I'm telling you, I... I take responsibility for the materials and the quality. Well, and a big advantage is that I'm always here. You know that's true. Well, if you think it's expensive, we can fix that. And no problem, go to the district center and take on some labor migrant workers. I promise that they'll build and weld for you. Yes, they will. Victor, did I mention the price? Mm. Don't get all worked up. Well, then it's a deal. <laughs> it's a deal, then. <laughs> well, Sergey, take it out. Well, OK, here's your deal. Take it. Wait, don't sign it now. You must get ready. Drink this first. Right, mm, you're right. <laughs> Hello, gentlemen. Hello there, Ludmilla. Hey, what's up? What are you doing here? I saw your car and thought you might be able to give me a ride. Uh-huh. But we're talking business. So maybe go for a walk, all right? Mm-hmm. I wasn't making myself clear. Can we go? Look, you know, listen up to me. I'm afraid you've come here at a very bad time. You're interrupting a cherished ceremony of signing a professional contract. No problem. I can give you a ride. I don't want to leave him here. He's had enough. Let's go, Victor. Let's go. Victor. Victor, it's okay, I guess. I've signed the papers, and we can leave these ceremonies until tomorrow. Well, yeah, he's right. We do have a contract after all, don't we? Tomorrow we'll all go to work. And with clear heads. And our hands can't shake, you know? Mm. <laughs> You're right. And the work is what? We've said it before that the work is sacred. Ivan, you get it? Mm. <laughs> well, thank you. See ya. Yeah. Well, that's it. 
Shall we? No, it's fine. I'm all right. Uh, you sure you're okay? I am. I'm not a child. No, no, no. That's mine. Whoops. Uh. Well, I oh, thank you. Victor, hold on a second. Stay there, I'll help Why you. Why should I? I can get out myself. Whoa! Oh, goodness, stop. <laughs> Come on. Drop it. I'm me. okay. I can walk just fine, you see? Uh, white face, hold step on. aside. Here, here are the steps. Your Come big on. Big man's on. coming. Big man's coming. <laughs> I was saying, I'll enter my house myself. Okay. Like that. And up, 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 up. Thank you. I'll take them in. Sergey, I've told you before, please don't let him drink, because look what happens. Well, he's my boss. And if he tells me to drink, I have to do it. I'm shocked your clients haven't all run away from you by now. Your victor has a very clever pair of hands. <sighs> clients love him, but don't worry. He'll sleep it off. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. It's all good. Well, if you don't like it, come home with me. I'm inviting you. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll put him to bed and come, but don't forget to tell your wife, though. That's fine. Ludmilla, tell me, do you love me? Ludmilla. Uh -huh. Oh, Miller, tell me, do you love me? Hmm? Lord Miller, damn you, do you love Goodness, me or not? Yes, huh? I do. Now go to sleep. Uh, <laughs> You're treating him just like a child. My Svetlana would have already kicked me out. He'll get a piece of my mind after he gets up, but right now, it doesn't make sense. He's lucky to have you. Maybe you're right. You could have married me instead. Thank you, but I wanted to marry him and only him. And right now? Yes, I still do. Are you in a hurry? I thought you'd give me some tea. Sergey, I'm sorry, but I need to go and pick up the kids. Tamara is a very strict person, and also, she doesn't like it when I'm late. Well, I can give you a ride. No, but thanks anyway. Hey. I'll have to come back here anyway. Since all the tools and spares are in the car, everything must be ready for tomorrow. Okay, do as you please. Thank you. Sergey, haven't you forgotten where you live? <sighs> Sveta, he helped me take Victor home. Hmm. Should I have left him alone at the cafe? You helped him, that's good. He's lucky to have you, right? Well, you know, he's my friend, also my boss. Okay, let's go. Hey. I'll come by later. Okay. What are you saying? Are you coming back here Drop tonight? it already, Sveta. Hello, Tamara. I'm here. <gasps> Mom, you're here! Hello, my beautiful sweetheart. Mwah. Well, let's go. We learned a new song today at kindergarten. That's good. You can sing it to me at home. Where's Dennis? Granny punished him. He's in the closet. He misbehaved, so I had to punish him. Why didn't Victor pick them up? He's at work. Tamara, I asked you to please not lock him in the closet. Well, you don't raise the children properly yourself. I happen to disagree with you. Dennis, dear, come out. Let's go home. Mom, you're here. Hello, my darling. 
Mother, I'm not to blame. It broke down itself. And after she... No, don't say she. It's Grandma. That's it. Now we can go home. Next time, I want Victor to come yeah. pick them up. He can't do that since he works a lot. Well, of course. You spend too much, and he works and works, and it's never enough for you. Hello, Ludmilla. Yes, hello there. Are you at this again? Are you having debates on the issue of raising children? Huh? I don't find that funny at all, okay? You don't care about anything. Well, that's not true. I'm always... Oh, come on. You know better. Yes, I know better. And I know your children lack manners. Well, thank you, but you said that already. Okay, say bye to your granny and let's go. Okay, good bye, granny. Granny, see you later. Mm -hmm. Have a good one. Look, Tamara, why do you always pressure her, huh? Can't you ever forget that Victor chose to marry her, even without your consent? No. No, I can't. He could have gone to some college and become a lawyer. <laughs> and now, he works as a lousy plumber. So what? A person needs a lawyer once in his life. Meanwhile, plumbers... Oh, will you stop talking already? Mom? Let's race each other. Okay, let's go. Be careful. Ready? Get set? Go! <laughs> I'm ahead! Daddy, slow down! Oh, 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 oh wait! Oh, oh, who do you belong to, children? We're both mine. Good afternoon, oh, Fyodor. Oh. Hello, Ludmilla. We're Victor Kolachev's children. That's whose we are. Oh, yes. So that means you're my grandchildren. There's no way. No, you're not our grandfather. Stop being so silly. Fyodor taught Mom at school and also Dad as well. That means they are like children to him, and we're like grandchildren. Nice to see you, Fyodor. Well, you give my regards to Victor. He helped me a lot. I don't remember any of my water pipe problems. Your dad is really great, you hear? Well, get going. We'll tell him you said that. Goodbye now. Goodbye. Mm, good, goodbye, goodbye, sir. <laughs> Larissa, come with me. Why did you buy the vinyl wallpaper? I told you to buy the usual one, so why didn't you? I don't know how to please you. I'm doing the best that I can. Plus, we're doing this for ourselves. Really? Did you earn the money for this? I work like a dog. And you only know how to spend it. Sergey, I have to hear this again. I don't want to take it back to the shop. With the way you spend, we won't save enough for a car or even a bike. Oh. What's wrong? Uh, Sveta, uh, are you okay? It's nothing. No big deal. Save enough for a car and then you can take me to the hospital. <laughs> I'll take you wherever you want. Listen, we want to finish at Ivan's today. That means that you'll have to do the wallpaper yourself. Or wait till the weekend and I'll help you. You're for real? I'm not going to wait any longer. I've been waiting for a month now. I'll call Ludmilla and she will help. As you wish. to wake up. You know you want to. Dennis, dear. But it's time to get up. You must get up. <sighs> but why do I always have to get up first? It's really not fair, Mom. Why don't you 
wake Larissa up first because she's always so slow in the morning. Well, that's because you are older and you are a boy. Yeah? Yes. Ugh. The morning sun has risen already and it's now time to wake up Larissa. I don't want to get up. I want to sleep, Mommy. What do you mean, my darling? Larissa, we'll be late for kindergarten. No, I don't want to go. I'll stay here with you. Honey, now wash your face and then go to the kitchen because I've made pancakes. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look, I'm, Ludmilla, I really, I'm sorry. But Victor, you're sorry every time, with no change. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Ludmilla, listen, I'm not rough with you, am I? I don't drink all my money, like a lot of men, but sometimes I drink. A bit too much, like everyone does. I don't care about the other men. The kids see what you do. Mm. And I have to lie to your mother. Mm. Can't you do without vodka at all? I'm afraid I can't. <sighs> Lud. Ludmilla, forgive me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, and yes, of course I can, of course I can. I'm not, you know, I'm not some old drunkard after all, you know? Well, mm -hmm. well, if you want, I'll stop drinking today. I do. Deal. <laughs> and I also want you to take me to have a look at the land plot that you promised me. Uh, what did I promise you? Well, of course you forgot. No, Ludmilla, hold on, wait, What wait. did you promise when Larissa was born? Since the family was <clears throat> growing. Oh. I, I promised to build a brand new, beautiful, big house for you, didn't I? Right, and also with water and gas and a toilet inside. And a jacuzzi. Honestly, I could do without a jacuzzi, and Larissa is five already. And well... Mm. Well, why did you remember all of a sudden then? I told you last week that I found a plot, and it was big, in a beautiful place that was inexpensive as well. Victor, we have the money, and the seller is waiting for us, and you either work or you drink. I'm tired. You got it. I agree with you. Lude, sorry I've been such a fool. Let's buy it. And the main thing is that you feel I good, yeah? I want some yeah? pancakes. Dad. <laughs> Guess what? Grandfather Fyodor gave you his regards. And then he said that you were so great. Yes, we saw him on the way home. He has gotten pretty old. Did you see that? Did you hear that? The teacher says I'm great, yeah? Victor, I'm not questioning this, even though... <gasps> That's it. That's it. I said I quit. I quit. Mm. Okay. Would you like some jam? Loot. Ludmilla! Hello, Sveta. Hey, wait, why are you in such a hurry? Sorry, I was lost in thoughts and didn't even notice. Did you fight with Victor? Well, no, on the contrary. Sveta, what oh. happened? Did you hurt your back? No, but we moved furniture yesterday. I guess I strained it. Listen, I wanted to put up the wallpaper tonight. Could you help me? Hmm, okay. Yeah. Let's go. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Have you seen Galia? No, I haven't seen her yet either. Well, and then yesterday, she wasn't here either. Mm, she'd call if she were sick. I just really hope that Kolya hasn't beaten her up again. We should visit her. Let's do that during lunch. Okay, it's time to start. Oh, I'll finish the story later. Let's get to work. Ludmilla! 
Ladies, break time. The label producer has broken down again. I'll go and bring Jenna. Well, that's the fourth time in a month, so what's wrong this time? Come on, what do you expect? It's a second-hand product. It should have been dumped long ago. That's it. I fixed the hitches. That must do it till the end of your shift. I can't give a guarantee. Sveta, take my place for now. I'll go to the director. We really need to replace the label maker or we can't work. Well, best of luck to you. Hello, Katya. Is the boss in? He is, but he's in a bad mood. Why is that? I don't know, but he's been arguing over the phone. What's all this about? It's never anything good. Hi, may I come in? Oh, Luke Miller. What happened? Come in, sit down. No, thank you. The label producer has broken down again. Why is that thing always breaking down during your shift, I told huh? you before that we needed to replace it. The I'm... minimal repairs won't do anymore. I'm not sure you get it. Surface technicians say it will work for another few years. Mm-hmm. Well, let them work on it then. <laughs> You're so business-minded. I don't regret promoting you to a forewoman. And what is a forewoman supposed to do? Meet the production target. Oh, my dear, sweet Ludmilla. She's supposed to have a mutual understanding with her boss. In this case, there won't be any problems if you let me... Stop, Vasily! Get off of me and buy a new label producer and open the door! I really like you, Ludmilla. I like women with strong character. I told you already that we would never reach any mutual understanding. You were only making me want you more. Don't you want to become a shop manager? What choice do you have, Ludmilla? Ah, uh, just wait. Sooner or later, you're gonna need me. Girls, break time! Listen up! We have time now to go to Galia. Shall we take someone with us? Polya's insane if he gets drunk. We'll be fine alone. Let's knock on the window first. Yeah, you're right. Galia! Okay. Oh, he hit you again. What a Oh bastard. my gosh. Girls, you'd better get out of here. I promise I'll come to work tomorrow. Hey, Galia, what are you talking about? You must go to the hospital. You must go to the police so they can do something about it. Girls, they'll only scold him a little, and when he comes back, he'll definitely kill me. Galia, listen, he beats you up because you allow it. So please file a restraining order. Galia! Hey, hey oh. Galia. Hey, what, what's going on? Get in the house right now, all right? I'm gonna handle this myself. No, that's okay. The girls are leaving already. Oh, yeah? Why are you here? Go on. Get lost. You want some help? Oh, oh. goodness. Stand up, Galia. Get out of here. I said I'll handle it. You've handled it Go enough on, already stupid. by beating her up. Galia, you poor thing. Hello, ambulance. Hey, Sergey. You're two centimeters off again. What if I hadn't checked it? Well, did you check? You always check it. That's because you always make mistakes. You seem to always make holes, and I have to patch them up. Oh, really? Hello there, guys. How's it going? It's going great, and we'll finish on time. Go and see the table. Bye. Tamara, welcome our guests. Ludmilla asked me to take them for a couple of hours. Of course. She's always talking back and snapping at me, yet when she needs help, she comes to us. Don't just stand there. Come in. Grandpa, could you stay with us at our place? 
Nobody yells at us there. Your grandma's not yelling. It's just that she worked at the school board and while there developed a commanding and booming voice. Tell me, what the hell are you talking about? Tamara. What? What are you going to feed the kids? Well, I don't know, but I'll make sure it's tasty, all right? Time to drink. No, I'm not drinking. Wait, what do you mean? We work together and now I have to drink alone? Enough. Victor, what's wrong with you? If you don't want to drink, then don't. Sure. I said I don't want it. Well, I'm going to pour you some anyway. And it's there if you change your mind. Hmm? Will you toast with us at least? Yeah. <sighs> Thank you guys for your work. Now the heating in the cafe works. And just in time, too. Down the hatch. <laughs> Today, it's better than ever. <clears throat> Just look at this view you have here, huh? Open space and fields. By the way, there's a lake over there. Uh-huh. The forest is full of mushrooms, so I recommend going there. So it's 11,000 square feet? Oh, we're not going to deceive you, honey. You can measure it yourself if you don't believe me. And you've seen the plot certificate. We wouldn't be able to make that up. Well, okay, but let's measure it again. If everything is as you say, I can make an advance payment right now. Okay, then let's measure it again. Well, thank you. I suggest drinking to these heaters so that they work for at least 100 years more to come. Here's to them. Yeah, sounds good to me. <sighs> Victor? Are you really not drinking anymore? Oh, well, it's not forever. Yet today, I decided I'm not gonna drink. <laughs> okay, then. When did work ever get in the way? <laughs> Just admit your wife told you not to. Yeah. <laughs> and it's Ludmilla. She makes you do what she says. Old guy, you better watch out. She's trying to control you. Oh, stop. She has nothing to do with that. Today, the national team is playing the final game, so <laughs> oh, yeah. I want to watch it sober. Oh. oh, yeah, right. Was that the coach calling? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Victor, that's not a good excuse. You told me that football without beer is ballet. <laughs> OK, Matt, here's the last. Then we're going home. Forget the football. I will propose a toast. To the ladies for loving us. I said I can. And yeah, I promised my wife. You happy? Huh? Huh? Chill out. Just forget about all your troubles, man. Huh? Ludmilla, why are you calling me? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, that's right, I'm sober. <laughs> Victor, you really like your father. His wife commands him, and your wife will soon do the same. She will. Shut your mouth. I mean, tomorrow, if you make a mistake with Marky, I swear I won't check it. And you'll pay out of your pocket, too. Wait, man. Oh, well. Dennis, dear, drink properly. Well, kids, are you nice and full? Yes. Well, then go to your room now. I'm sorry I can't read to you tonight because I'm going over to help Aunt Sveta. Victor, what's the matter? Has something happened at work? Everything's just fine. I think you're upset. You aren't telling me something. Yeah, you're telling me too much. You should leave me alone. Victor, I can't understand what happened to you. I called to ask you to pick up the kids. What's wrong with that? Stop making a fool out of me. You simply wanted to check 
whether I was drinking, and you know it. Come on. Victor, help! Help me, please! Victor, I'm in need. I'm in trouble. Help me, please! Oh! Oh, thank God. Stepanovna, what happened? What, is the hooch still broken down? No, stop that. I have a problem. Oh, my faucet is broken, and now there is water everywhere in the house. Could you help me? I really owe you one. Victor, but maybe Sergei could fix it? I promised to help Sveta out tonight. Sergei is still... He's still working. Yes, that Sergei can't do anything right. Oh, thank you so much, Victor. <laughs> Let's hurry before the house is underwater. Oh, Stepanova. dear. Promise you won't give him any vodka. Ludmilla. Oh, my goodness. I couldn't even think about that now. Come on, let's go now. Oh, oh, thank God. Right here. This is what we've got. Oh, wow. Oh, I this see. This is great. Oh, cool. I'm, I'm sorry, but I just had to bring them here with me. Aunt Sveta, we can help you out. No, oh, that's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> Where's Victor? He went over to Stepanovna's. Her faucet is broken again. As usual, she's always having house mm. problems. Mm -hmm. But she has home distilled vodka to pay for it all. Mom! Mom! My hands are glued together! Goodness, dear, what have you done over there? Larissa, what have you done? How did you do this? Ah. Lude, is it even? Sveta, just a second. Larissa, please don't play with the glue again, you hear me? You'd better draw something with Dennis. Could we draw on the wallpaper? Of course you can't. You can, but on the reverse side, in the kitchen, You'll find some pencils in there. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, Sveta, are you okay? You should sit down. <sighs> oh. Oh. Oh, Lude. Listen, huh? I'm in trouble and I don't know what to do. What? Oh, no, what happened? Come on, tell me everything. Well, I. I bought a pregnancy test at the pharmacy, and I... Oh, Sveta! Congratulations to you! So has Sergei heard the news? No. But why didn't you tell him? I'm afraid to. He'll make me have an abortion. He doesn't want to hear a word about having a baby. He has a schedule a car, and working on this house, and in that order. Well, and you? I want a baby. Well, then you'll have one. And what if he leaves me? How will I cope on my own? Goodness, what a fool you are. There's no way he's gonna leave you. Well, he may grumble a while. All men are like that. You must tell him that you're pregnant. Okay, but first put up the wallpaper. Hey, Larissa, Dennis, yeah. go back to the kitchen. Yeah. Weren't you told to draw in there? We won't do a lot with them here. Could you call Victor? Maybe he's finished with the faucet so he can come pick them up. I don't want to call him because he'll think I'm nagging him. Will you please call him? Or we won't finish until morning. That's it, I'm done. It's finished. Oh, really? I'm giving you a five-year guarantee. Let me know how it is. Thank you so much, Victor. You've really got such skillful fingers. And as always, a kind heart, too. <gasps> oh. No, I, I can't, please. Sorry, I can't take your money. Hold it there. Everyone in our village knows I always pay for the work, but if you don't want money, you can take a bottle and no, do wait. anything you want. Stepping over, you no. You can throw it away. You can drink it or give it to your friends. Hold on. Yeah. No, honey, but we've talked about that. 
Ludmilla, now's not the time. Let's discuss it at home. Bye. Victor, please, don't you refuse my form of payment. My home distilled vodka is good, and it burns so good. Well? Well? Take it. You may need it someday. Mm. Uh-huh. <laughs> to fire up the stove. <laughs> well. What's up? Oh, well, I shouldn't have called him. He got even more annoyed with me. Dear children, hey, mwah, are you tired? No, I'm not. Really? We've put up wallpaper and we're not tired. Mm, you should go get ready for bed. <laughs> I don't understand why you've been angry with me all day. That's because I'm tired of your suspicions and you're spying on me. And the guys are all laughing at me. I don't really care what the guys think. I'm just worried about you as all. I wish you wouldn't be. If I said I wouldn't drink, and I haven't. <sighs> Mother, can we come in now? Well, darlings, you can stay in here as long as Dad is watching his game. Hurrah! Hooray! Mom, could you read us a story? What story would you like tonight? That story about the land of milk and honey. Uh-huh. Come on, I've heard that one for years. But I want to hear it. Okay, well, shall we read it or not? Yes, please. Yes, please. <laughs> and playing with the other kids, the wild geese came and snatched the boy and took him away on their wings. And the girl came back, yet she didn't find her brother. Panic-stricken, she started running around looking for him. She cried out his name. She burst into tears. She moaned that mom and dad would punish her, yet the brother wouldn't answer. Then she ran into the field. Oh, the ball got taken back, please. Watch out, these players now can't be in the It's really amazing. Oh, that's past there.
Dennis, the window! <coughs> Dennis, go out the window! Have you put on your slippers? Come on now! Is that a fire truck? What does it have to do with you? Forget it. No, hold on. A fire! Their house is on fire! Oh! 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 Goodness. You there, back off! Get out of the way! All right, guys, come on, come on, let's go. Over here. Hey, hey, back, back, back! Don't stay here. Too dangerous. Over there. Run, run, run! Ah, uh, uh, this looks bad, you guys. Let's go, let's go. Come on, give me those hoses over here right now. Hook that up. All right, come on. Victor, no! Stop! We need some guys around the back. Get some guys around the back right now. I want you to take us out from the back. Yeah, yeah, there. You have to get around. Okay. Keep her back there. What's that? Yeah, yeah, 10-4. Yeah, we're, we're gonna need more trucks as well, more tankers, more water. Yeah, we got a bad one here, guys. Ludmilla! Ludmilla! Oh, 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 Victor! Oh, how could it happen? Oh, Victor. oh, how could it happen? Oh, my God, Victor. Where, Where are the kids? Uh, Where? Uh, the kids! Uh, uh, Larissa, my God! Mom, come here! Oh, my I'm God. frightened. Will you hug me? Oh, oh my Mom, darling. tell us where's our dad. Uh, Ludmilla, come to our house. You can't change anything here. Let's get out of the cold. Let's go. Come on. We'll take the kids at least. They may catch a cold. Go. Take them. Go to Aunt Spetta's. I'll be right there. Don't be afraid. Go. Come on, let's go. I got you. How did this happen? How did this happen? Everything's gonna burn down. Yeah, they got out in time. No worries. Everyone's out. It's good that there was no wind. Otherwise, over half of the village, it would have burnt down. This is awful. The whole house burned down. Horrible. Oh, my goodness. Someone left What are they going to do? How could they do this? Horrible. Horrible. And where are the kids and Victor? Well, Sveta took the kids. And Victor. My God, forgive me. I couldn't save him. Please forgive me. <laughs> never, I won't. I will never forgive you for this. You are to blame for everything. You ruined his whole life. And it's your fault that he's dead now. Don't you dare come to me. Tamara. Don't you dare. I don't want to see you. It's your fault! It should have been you who died! Tamara! Please. Don't do this now. There are people and they'll hear you. Come on, come, come into her car. Here, here. Ludmilla, I'm sorry. Forgive her. Don't pay attention to her words. She's gone mad. From the grief. I'll take the kids. It's for the best, all right? They shouldn't be without us tonight. Am I right? Uh-huh.
Grandpa? Where's my mother? Why doesn't she want to go with us now? Dennis. Your mom will stay with Uncle Sergey and Aunt Sveta for a while. And you and Larissa will stay with us. Where's Daddy? <laughs> I know where. Our dad is there, where he'll stay forever now. How could he still be in there? The house has burnt down. I want to see Mom now. Larissa, you can't go to her today. Your mom, she'll definitely come tomorrow. So let's go and find Granny. I'm sure that she's waiting for us. Uh, I, oh, my dear. Uh, uh, oh, my goodness. Uh, So sorry, you poor things. You're, you're now little orphans. Oh my God, I can't believe it. We're not orphans. We still have a mom. Granny, tell us why we can't go see our mom. Aren't you happy here? Yes, my dear. Yes, here you'll have clothes and food. And your mom doesn't even have any food to give you half the time anyway. I don't want to eat. I just want my mother. Stop shouting, you hear me? Go to bed. You're gonna live here now. Don't you listen? Please, now stop this and pull yourself together. Oh, my dear girl, I'm sorry for what I just said. <laughs> Granny loves you so much. Granny won't let anyone hurt you ever. <laughs> Larry. Here, take her now. Oh my God, help me. What am I doing? Do I deserve any of this? <laughs> why? Oh God, why? Come on, let's go. Shall we go to bed? You'll get some good sleep. Grandpa will be here tomorrow. Ludmilla. It's so horrible. They lived and loved and planned their future, and in a second it's gone. We're only mortal, honey. I do feel bad. He was so young and healthy, and he loved life. He didn't even know about her buying the land plot so they could build a house. Well, that doesn't matter now. Why would you bring it up? Well, I... I just thought about it, that's all. Just forget it. Now you should tell me. Well, I thought... If something were to happen to you, you also wouldn't know that we're going to have a baby. You are? Oh, my goodness. It is natural. I'm happy. Sveta, we talked about it, though. First is construction that we're working on. We need to pay for the car. We need to work. Sveta, and um, now my job isn't clear. That's the only thing you worry about? Sergey, I'm over 30 now, and I want a baby. Well, I don't care. Now is not the time. You got it? Tell me, do you get it? Say something. Yeah, I get it. Well, that's all. Let's go to sleep. Tomorrow you'll get it fixed.
I can't sleep now. Can't you fall asleep? No, I can't sleep. And when I close my eyes... Oh my God, when I imagine what would have happened if the kids had remained in their room... It doesn't make sense... to talk right now. It's useless to cry. We can't ever bring Victor back. I know you're strong. You'll cope with everything. We'll help you out, too. You have to eat something, huh? Oh, my God, Sergey, what are you talking about? Well, if you don't want to eat, let's cook for Svetlana. She'll get up to breakfast being ready. It's a good idea, isn't it? Come on, it's important to do things. It'll switch off from sad thoughts. Let's see what we have here, huh? Okay, minced meat. And eggs, so we'll make some risolis. Sound good? Listen, I want to ask you. Is it okay if I use Victor's car for a while? You know, all the tools are in there, and it'll be more convenient for me to work. You can take it if you need it. Mm, thank you. I'll earn some money, and we'll just buy it from you, okay? Mm -hmm. Lud, you okay? Yeah, I'm all right. Today? I am. It's better than sitting at home. You're right, I agree. It's better for you to be at work, and I can give you a lift. Wow, I don't remember you ever offering to give me a lift to work. Well, okay. Good morning to you, Sveta. Why are you so rude? Sveta, would you like breakfast? We have risoles and mashed potatoes. No, thank you. Why don't you make borscht for lunch, since you know Sergei likes it very much? Actually, we made breakfast for you so that you could thank us. Thank you, Ludmilla. Listen, I have to go, and I'm not hungry. Have a nice meal. What's wrong with you? I don't remember you ever helping make breakfast since the first day I met you. I just wanted to distract her. If you remember, she's in mourning. You're so attentive and very thoughtful. But you don't care that I cried all night long after what you said. About the baby? <sighs> Look around. Where will we bring it up? In these poor conditions? That's enough. This issue is over. <sighs> Look, you need to give some shoes to Ludmilla. Also, she can't go to work in her nightgown. Well, I have nothing. I have no clothes or a baby, nothing. Now stop with the attitude.
Good morning, all. Yes, good morning. Ludmilla, you should stay home for a couple days. You need to recover. Well, okay. Why did you dress her up? What, you had nothing darker? I gave her what I had. That's the only dress in her size that I had. Wait. Wait. Please, stop and listen. I want to say, forgive me for what I said. Forgive me for my rudeness. I stupidly told Sergei that I was pregnant. We argued and I went crazy. I cried all night because he wanted me to get rid of it. And now I don't know what to do. Oh my God, what a silly man. Don't listen to him. My children are now the only things that keep me going. Lude, what are you talking about? Stop talking like that. I get that it's hard, but you have to stand. I brought you Sergei's old cell phone. Oh my goodness, thank you very much for this. I'll call Tamara and find out how the kids mm -hmm. are. <sighs> She's not answering. Listen, what are you doing with your children? Why don't you come and stay with us for a while? Mm -hmm. I don't know what to do with them yet. I'll have to borrow some money to rent a place. You should talk to Vasily. We have factory dorms. It's no Hilton Hotel, but you'll have a roof. Uh-huh. Yeah, dream on. I've been waiting for more than two years renting a cubbyhole. We have a situation. Of course you do. If you're the chief, you don't care about others. Isn't that right, girls? Ira, I have children. That's great, but so do I. But I still wait. We all wait, and so will you. Don't even listen to her. Your husband died. Why should you wait? Go to Vasily. Go do it. Go right now. Ludmilla, come in. Good afternoon, Vasily. I've just heard about your misfortune. We'll do our best. Will you please take a seat? I say we have a drink. Let's drink to Victor's memory. He was a good man. And he had gifted hands. My condolences. <sighs> I'll arrange some allowance for you. That's for being a fire victim. Thank you, sir. What else can I do for you? Honestly, Vasily, I need a room in our dormitory. No. No, I can't do that. I have 20 applications and no free rooms available. Well, at least maybe temporarily. What am I gonna do with you? Okay, I agree that I'll try to do something. I'll try to find a dorm room for you. Thank you very much, Vasily. Oh, well, thank you very much. Oh, my oh. goodness. Ludmilla, come on. Ludmilla, come on. I'm a human being, after all. Now, don't you cry. Don't you cry. I'll help. I'll always help you. You know how I feel about you. I like you very much, Ludmilla. I'll give you a raise if you want. How would you like a promotion? <gasps> well, aren't you stupid? Where will you go without a referral or a passport, huh? You'll lose your job if you're not careful. 
Did you really slap the boss? Uh-huh. Oh my god. That was dumb. She really screwed this up. Leonia, hi. Have you seen Dennis? Uh, he missed classes today. And what does that mean? Good afternoon, Valentina. I just found out that Dennis missed class today. Yes, but I thought that after the tragedy, you decided to... Where is he then? Actually, they are staying at their grandparents now, and I can't get them on the phone, so I didn't know that. Well, I hope you talk to them. Accept my condolences. Good afternoon, Elena. It's Ludmilla. Could you just tell me if Larissa was at kindergarten today? <sighs> she wasn't. Vasily, may I have a word? What do you want, Ira? You asked me to share everything that happens in the workshop. Well, I guess I did. So what? Ludmilla hasn't returned after lunch. Well, that's odd. What's the reason? She said nothing and didn't come back is all. I had to cover for her today. If you wondered. Well, good job, Ira. You did very well. What else can I do? Ludmilla lets people leave the factory too early or be absent from work, so I work extra. What are you offering? I think it's time for a new chief since you asked. Do you mean yourself? <laughs> Just count on me. Tamara, answer me! that knocking there's nobody there they left early this morning do you know where they went I'm sorry they didn't tell me come in and have some tea no but thank you I'd better wait for them here and if you insist What's up, Sveta, huh? You want some help? No, I don't need your help. Oh, yeah, I see you're barely making it. You're young and you haven't been pregnant yet. You shouldn't carry all that. Why does Sergei let you do that? Why ask about him? What? I can't ask about him? What if I wanted to say hi? I just go to hell. Oh, yeah, I'll go. Yeah, there's time, but you should hurry. Or otherwise, you'll be late, huh? Well, what are you talking about? What? Before you know it, he'll be on to the next and with someone else. So stupid. <laughs> Great, since Dennis missed class and Larissa missed kindergarten, that's why I'm here. We went shopping for some clothes, since they had nothing to wear. We couldn't send them to school in blankets. Mommy, check out my brand new jacket! I see, my darling, and it's very pretty. Hey, darling, here, help me with the bags. Is this it? No, there's more. Look, don't worry about the kids while they're here. Mm. They are comfortable with us. Well, why would she worry? We'll feed and bring them up. 
will remain strong for them. They're very happy to be here. Dennis, hey. Larissa, come. Come and help me with the bags, oh. kids. Go with him now, my darlings. Let's go, go let's go. Larissa, go now. Go, and I'll see you very soon. Go now. Mm. You shouldn't visit us, Ludmilla. You're breaking their little hearts. You can't prohibit me from seeing my children. I'm not prohibiting you. Think about your children, not yourself, like you normally do. You have to settle your life after all this. The children are a burden to you. No, I'll take them. I'll take them as soon as I find a place to live. We'll discuss that when you find a place to live. Liuda, this is for you. Wear for your pleasure, Sergei. Money for the doctor. Don't wait too long. Just like that. Hi, Masha. Hello. Ludmila, can I help you? Yes, I need a black dress for the funeral. But can you give it to me on credit? I'll get you the money soon. Oh, well, I'm not the one to make this decision. Oh, wait a minute. Right, so will you come here? Oh, Ludmilla. Hello, dear. Hi, Riza. How are you? I have a request for you. Of course. And what would you like? Victor's funeral is tomorrow. I need a black dress for it. Credit. My condolences to you. I'm so sorry. I'll pay for it immediately as soon as I get paid. Don't talk about that, Ludmilla. 
I remember you went to school with my Roman. We're not strangers at all. I'm looking. How is Roman doing? I haven't seen him come back ever since he went to the city. He got married. He has a son. Nothing would make him come here. He has some unhappy memories. Here's a dress for you. Take it. Thank you so much, Riza. Come here, try it on. And in the meantime, then, I should find you a black kerchief to wear. Finally, you've come. Sveta, what's the matter? I should ask you that. Did you argue with Sergei? You're not yourself, and your eyes are red from crying, and you're acting strangely. How would you behave if you were in my shoes? Don't be so nervous. Listen, if you want, I can talk to him, and maybe we can make him change his mind. I don't want you to do that. Why not, Sveta? Because you shouldn't talk to my husband. Sveta, what's up? Are you crazy? Huh. Look. They're for you. A present my husband, Sergei, bought for you. Oh, dear me, but I don't want any presents from him. Oh, but why not? Why not? Look. Look and see what he bought for you. Look how he worries. You know he never gets me presents. Have you gone to the director? Did he give you a room? I want you to Sveta, go away. I... I won't let you stay here with my family, okay? Are you hearing me? Okay, I'm leaving now. But just know that you are wrong. I don't need your Sergei, know that. Oh, you don't need him? I don't care, but he needs you. And if he gets something in his head, he'll go all the way with it. <laughs> Galia. Galia, say something. You can call me a bastard if you want. It might help. Galia, you know I'm an idiot and dumb when I drink. I'm a dumb bonehead, all right? We know I am. Please, just forgive me and don't leave me. Uh, uh, okay, okay. Listen, why are you digging into this stuff, huh? Did you escape from the hospital for that? Uh, did you... Maybe keep your mouth shut there? Galia, ask whatever you want. I'll buy you whatever you want when I get my paycheck. Honey, my word is my Did honor. Did you see Ludmilla? Huh? How is she? How is she? <laughs> I don't care. At least she won't poke her long nose into other people's affairs. <sighs> Poor Ludmilla. She can go to hell for all I care. Listen, for whom have you prepared all this anyway? I've prepared it for Ludmilla because she needs it. Are you out of your mind? Give it to me. She almost destroyed our family and you're gonna give her clothes, really? Don't you shout at me. I don't care about your opinion. Oh yeah? It's mine. Really, in your dreams. Nikolai. What? I've made a decision. You'll never give me orders again. And you'll never lay a finger on me ever again. Do you hear me? No, I didn't hear you. I am your beloved husband, aren't I? Nikolai, maybe we should get a divorce. Why continue all the torture? Oh my god. What's up? Galia. Well, what are you talking about? But, but, but I love you. Galia, I love you. And you love me too. Look, if you want to give 
uh, uh, these things to Ludmila, then I don't mind. Here you are. Uh, I just wanted you to consult me, you know? I mean, uh, you're upset with me now. Uh, do whatever you want. Dear Victor, oh Victor. <sighs> Would you like a hot dinner or sandwiches? A hot meal. Feed me, please. I'm really hungry. I had no time to eat at work. I'll eat everything you offer me. I'll warm it up now. And what about Ludmilla? She's not eating? Or is she already in bed? She left, it looks like. What? But why did she leave? She has nowhere to go. You better tell me what happened. Why are you so nervous? Maybe she decided to leave, so why do you care? Or maybe someone told her to leave. She got a room in the dorms at work. I'm glad she did. And now she can't muddle your brain since you're taken. Whose brain? But what does that mean? What are you talking about? I'll show you. Look, she didn't take your boots. Come on, tell me. You kicked her out, huh? What a jealous brat you are. We've been friends for ages. Don't you get that she has no one to support her? You're so attentive. You even thought to leave me money for the abortion. Boots for her, abortion for me. You're so attentive. Maybe you don't want a baby because she's single now. I don't want to listen to this nonsense anymore. You hear me? Thank you for a delicious dinner.
Lurmela? Lurmela! Oh, Galia. My gosh, how you scared me. But what... What are you doing here so early? You were at Sveta's, weren't you? No, not anymore. I see that. Why didn't you come to me? I didn't know that you'd already been released from the hospital. And I don't think that Nikolai would be happy. <sighs> Tell me, what are you doing here so early? Well, Nikolai got up early for work and gave me a lift. Huh. I brought some clothes for you to have, at least for now. Thank you so much. Listen, don't tell anyone that I spent the night here, okay? No, I won't. But I will tell Sveta. Please don't. Don't tell her anything. Don't give up, Ludmilla. <sighs> well, today is Victor's funeral. I've written an application to the director that I'll be missing work today. Okay. Why have you been silent all morning? Why don't you talk to me? Are you still upset? When will you go to the doctor? Sergey, maybe we can keep the baby. Don't go there. Well, I'm afraid that after the abortion, I won't be able to get pregnant. Of course you will. You'll get pregnant again. Medical science works wonders nowadays. Fine. Ludmilla, a homeless fire victim, is much richer than I am now. Meaning the company? Why does she need it now? I'll save some money and buy her share. I'll buy the car, and then we'll live a good life, Sveta. Trust your boy, yeah. <laughs> Is that so? That's a cheap life. Why do you always nag? Frankly speaking, I'm sick of it. Have you seen Ludmilla? No, I haven't yet. Where is Ludmilla? She's absent again. Yes, but today's her husband's funeral. In such cases, people file applications and ask for several days off. But she did and gave Katya the application. She always does everything at the last minute. Ira, today you'll replace her as a forewoman. Tomorrow we'll have to see. Tell your friend I don't have any rooms available for absentees at the dorm. Keep working. Time to work, girls. Get back to it. I just can't believe the nerve of that man. Hold on, but I thought he gave a room to Ludmilla. You heard what he said? should never have to bury their children in this world, never. Nor should we bury our students. Well, that's life, I guess. Oh, Ludmilla, if you feel like it, come see me. I'll help you as much as I can. Lud, I just want to say, don't bear a grudge against Sveta. She wasn't thinking. Will you... return to our house? I hope you want to. Sergei, are you coming? Yes, of course I am. Ludmilla, we're leaving now. Forgive me for not inviting you to the funeral feast. You understand, Tamara. Don't you worry, I understand you. It's from her grief. 
She'll recover. She just needs some time. Dennis? Larissa? Say goodbye to your mother and let's get ready to go. Mom, no, I love and miss you very much. <sighs> My dear, I love you very much. Come on, now get on the Mom, bus. Mom, I don't want you have to. to. Larissa, come on. you. I don't want you to worry. I'll raise the kids, I promise you. Victor, I will manage. And I will survive. Ludmilla, I couldn't leave you here all alone. I'm sorry, my dear. It's the only place where I'm not alone, Riza. Oh, stop that now. What are you saying? You've just buried him. Listen, you must think of those who are still alive. You have nowhere to live now. Well, I have a big house. And I now live alone these days. You won't bother me. Move to my place. You won't be alone anymore. <sighs> I'm oh. sorry, dear. I'm so sorry. Oh, thank you, Riza, my goodness. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. 